Okay, happy Thursday, everybody. So if you're just joining or watching the recorded version, we do need two light dumbbells. If you don't have anything that will work, we're just gonna be punching with our fists today. So let's start with a little bit of cardio and then I'll turn up the music so you can work in here. Let's go jumping jacks first. Just get the heart rate up right away. We've got a few jack moves and we'll be doing some kickboxing. Too loud for the recorded version, but we'll try. <laughs> good. Let's go about 10 more seconds here. Just nice, quick pace, straight arms. Looking good. Last five. And let's go kicks. Opposite hand to toe. Stretch out that hamstring. Let's get some light uh, weights in it. Those two should be perfect, yeah. Another 10 seconds here. Good. I think we can use the best today. That's good. And let's go side crunches. Squeeze the obliques, elbow to knees. So you're actually kind of bending to the side. Good. There we go. Couple more each leg. And let's go for crossing jacks. Get that heart rate back up. If you can't do those, tap to the side, but still crossing the arms. Perfect. Looking good. Another 15 seconds. Try to stay with that pace you started with. Feel those inner thighs crossing, outer hips working. Another five seconds. All right, everybody step back. Let's go two pulses, hip flexor stretch. Reach onto the toes. So one, two, and reach. Big step back, couple pulses. Make sure that front foot is flat, and reach. Another 10 seconds. Looking good, almost there. Last five. And now let's take it into a modified burpee. Stepping back, up, and reach tall again. Step back, up, and reach. Onto the toes, warm up the calves. Let's do another 15 seconds like this. Perfect pace for the warm up. Less than 10 here. All right, now just swing the arms across the body, crossing, alternating one over. Make sure to still open the chest. Give the shoulder blades a little squeeze and double pulses up and down. Just before we get into any punches. And quick stretch across. One arm over, uh, straight arm, grabbing that forearm. And quick switch, other side. And same for the legs. Let's go quad stretch. You can grab on a swing for balance if you need to. Squeeze your glutes. And other side. All right, everybody. So if you're just joining, two light dumbbells or just your arms today. Two circuits, 30 on 10 off, and we're doing three rounds. Ladies, I'm going to get you set up by the bags. Uh, we will need it for the third one. So you'll just kind of get set up and then we'll do the first couple without the bag, okay? But you do need your weights with you. So let's bring the weights, yeah. And I can even move this We're one. We're going to be on our feet at the bag, so right? Yes. Okay. But keep your mat close by, yeah. Right. All right, so, yeah, you can move that one, yes. Louisa, can you move the bag a little bit? Yes. There we go. All right, so everybody at home, we're going to start with two jacks and one two elbow to knee, you four will be doing the same thing. Two jacks, two elbows to knees. Okay, you can't do the jacks, just the tap, knee, knee, all right? Then keep your weights handy, we'll be grabbing those next. So, ready? And let's go. One, two, knee, knee. Try to get your pace up high, core tight. This is a great kind of continuation of the warm up. Two jacks, knee, knee. You've got 15 more seconds. We do have our 10 second rest today. So we'll be grabbing our weights during that time. Eight seconds, everybody. Looking good at home. Stay with me, five seconds. Rest, everybody. Grab your dumbbells. 
We're gonna do alternating side lunges, press to that opposite foot. If you can't do the side lunges, you'll do the side squats. Let's go. Lunge, press, lunge, press, or side squat, press. Towards the opposite foot, keep your chest up tall. Nice, you're gonna go just bring up right here. Yep. Good, Lisa, nice, Carolyn. Love it, Anna, there we go. 10 seconds. Last five, everybody. Give me one more lunge. Good, okay, you four can use the back. We're gonna be squat, punching, actually two at the top, squat, two at the bottom. So at home, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Four tight. Double punches, top and bottom. Yes. There we go. Keep that intensity. 15 more seconds. Almost there. We've got 10. Yes. Nice, Heather. Nice, Ben. Three seconds. Keep going, ladies. Keep going. Rest. Okay. You can use the back. Right leg only. Curtsy. Roundhouse kick on the right. Or squat. Roundhouse kick. Let's go. Right leg. Curtsy. Roundhouse. Curtsy. And kick. Or squat. And kick just with the right leg. We're not going to switch right after. So make sure you're doing, or make sure you remember which leg you're on. Okay, that's <laughs> Eight seconds. Good, and keep the core tight, everybody. Five seconds left. And rest. Okay, before we switch legs, we're gonna do a set of split jacks, or just power kicks forward if you cannot do those. Three, two, one, let's go. And split jacks. Good. Whatever you're doing, you can do quick feet, jacks, Anything for cardio if you can't do the split jacks. Love it. Great job. We've got 15 to go. Keep jumping those legs forward and back, forward and back. Good. Keep the arms straight. We're still working those shoulders. You've got eight more seconds, then we'll change legs. Yes, perfect, Mina. Good. Nice job, ladies. Stay with it. Rest. Okay. Now we change to left leg. Curtsy. Roundhouse kick or squat left kick only. Let's go, curtsy and kick. Curtsy and kick. Perfect. There we go. Keep breathing. Inhale, lunge, exhale, kick. Nice. Love those squats, Heather. 12 seconds, everyone. Keep it going. You've got five seconds, almost there. And rest, okay, that was one round. We've got two more just like that. So we're gonna start with our two jacks. And elbow knee, elbow knee, or two taps. Let's go, one, two. You got it, you got it. Crunch those abs as you bring your elbow all the way to your knee. Quicker pace this set if you're able to. Looking good, halfway. You got it, you got it. I love the heavy breathing, that's a good sign. 10 seconds, heart should be pumping by now. Last side here. Stay with it. And rest. Okay, grab your dumbbells. We're going side to side lunges, okay, or side squats. So press that opposite foot, keep your chest up, or side squats, let's go. Good, perfect lunges. Push off your heel, pull yourself back up, targeting those glute muscles. Perfect form, yes, nice bend. 15 seconds, love it. Stay strong everybody. You've got about five seconds here. Then we're gonna get back to some punches. And rest, okay, so with or without the weight, Two punches at the top, squat, two punches at the bottom. Punch, 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 punch. You should really feel those legs, let's go. Feel those legs as you're punching, holding that squat at the bottom for two presses. Oh yeah, Lisa, go for it, yes. Good job everyone, 15 seconds. This is still cardio, 
your heart rate should be up pretty much this whole workout. You've got five seconds left. Stay with it. A couple punches up and down. One more time. Rest, everybody. Okay, we're going to go back to our right leg. Curtsy, keep your chest forward. Roundhouse kick, right leg only. Curtsy and kick. Here we go. And kick, good. Keep those abs tight. Yes. There we go. Don't be afraid to kick that bag. We've got 15 seconds. Looking awesome, everybody. 10 left on this leg, then we'll get to a little more cardio. Perfect, yeah, nice. Good, Mina. Yes, Carolyn. Rest. Awesome. All right, before we change legs, we've got our split jacks here or power kicks forward, fast pace. Let's go. Deep breath. <laughs> Focus on your inhales and your exhales during cardio, during our recovery, always. 15 more seconds, you can do it. This is a great core workout too. Kickboxing is great for the core. Eight seconds left and then we'll change legs. You got it, you got it. Deep breaths. Three, two, rest everybody. We're gonna change to our left leg curtsy roundhouse and then we'll get to our last round. Or squat kick. Let's go. Left leg curtsy. Chest is forward. Roundhouse. Good. I'm going to try not to flex the foot so much. Try to point it a little bit on that kick. Uh huh. Ten more seconds, everyone. You're up for that last set. It's coming up quick here in five. Couple kicks, couple lunges. Let's go, one more. And rest. All right, everybody, one more set. So we're gonna start with our two jacks and two taps, okay? As fast as you can, best effort. Let's go, one, two, knee, knee. You got it, you got it. Tapping and knee to elbow if you're modifying. 20 to go. This is your last round, make it your best round. We love the kickboxing workouts here. 10 more seconds. Great cardio today. Five left, almost there. Let's get two more jacks, two more taps. And rest, grab your dumbbells, side lunge presses, bringing that weight down towards your foot or squat press. And let's go. Toes should be forward, push the booty back behind you. Yes. Halfway almost. Looking good. Stay strong, everybody. You've got this. 10 seconds only. Love it. Perfect form over here, everyone. Five seconds to get two reps in. And rest. Okay. One more. With the two punches top, two punches bottom. With or without the weights. Three, two, one, let's go. Double punch up, double punch down. Core tight. If you're going without weights, you can go for speed. If you've got dumbbells, maybe take it a little slower, a little more controlled if they're a little bit heavy. Yes, Carolyn, perfect. There we go, Mina, love that high punch. Good job, everyone. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. We've got three moves left, and then we'll take it to our last circuit of the day. And three, two, rest. We have to finish our right leg curtsy to roundhouse or squat to roundhouse. All right, deep breath. And let's go. Curtsy, right leg, and roundhouse. Nice swift kick. Put some power into it. Yes. You got 15 seconds left. Don't worry, you get a longer break coming up pretty quickly here. 10 seconds. You got it, you got it. Don't slow down. Chest up, Louis, so a little higher. Chest up. There we go. Rest, everybody. One more set with the split jacks. Then we'll change to our left curtsies. That's hard work today, huh? <laughs> 
Heavy breathing. Let's go. And split jacks. Last set. Good. Perfect. I know it's tempting to slow down on round three, but try to keep your pace high. You've got 15 seconds. Let's focus on those hand and that breath. Beautiful job. 10 seconds, everyone. So close. You can do it. Five left. You're almost there. Take a breath. We've got to finish left leg curtsy, roundhouse, or squat left roundhouse only. In three, two, one. Let's go. Curtsy and kick left leg. This is your last 30 seconds in circuit one. You're almost there. You got it. Hard kick. Yes. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Stay strong, burn out those legs. I know they're hurting. Five seconds. One more. Rest, everybody, grab some water. Nicely done. That was way more cardio than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so, let's see, one. You four will just be using the first, the back for the first move, okay? So everybody at home, we have the dumbbells in our arms or just your fists. We go jack, 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 jack. So core tight, alternating arms. Try to keep the pace up. You can do the same thing against the back, okay? That's our only one. Then we'll be doing uh, some work on the floor. So a lot of abs coming up for the next circuit. Okay, so let's grab our weights. Hold them at the shoulders with or without your bag, with or without the weights. Let's go one, jab. Jack, left arm. Jack, right arm. Core tight. Yes. You can do it. 15 more seconds. Try to keep that pace up. This is about the highest intensity move we have, I think, for the whole circuit, too. Most of the cardio was in circuit one. There we go, Louisa. Yes. And rest, everybody. Okay, no weights. Let's take it down to a half side plank. So your bottom knee is down. Straight leg raises up. Okay? If you can't be on the arm, same thing all the way down. So we're just targeting those hip muscles and a little more oblique work if you're on the hand and knee. Try to lead with the edge of your foot. Don't point the toes up like this. Lead with the edge. So up. To the side. To the side. There we go. Yep. We've got 10 seconds. And try not to slam the leg down. Keep it controlled. And are we all on the same arm? <laughs> Rest. Okay, let's change sides. Let's keep it simple. Change sides. I have a feeling switching these two back and forth is going to be problematic. So other side in three, two, one. Let's go. Lead with the edge of the foot. Nice and controlled. You're laying down if you are modifying. Targeting those lateral hip muscles. Oh yeah, we feel it. We feel it. <laughs> 10 seconds. You got it, stay with me here. Five seconds left. This is one of those deceiving ones. All right, everybody, take one dumbbell. Let's go onto the back. You're gonna hold it in your right hand. Left leg jackknife. Press to the opposite foot. That hand can be on the ground. Let's go. Exhale up. Punch. Inhale down. One side only. And you're doing opposite hand to foot. If you need a modification, bring the leg all the way up. And you can even have that bottom other leg bent for support. Just listen to your low back. Give it what it needs. Yes. Five seconds, one more, and change everybody. We're gonna, we still have our 10 second rest, so let's change after that. And opposite hand, the left hand, go towards the right foot, or crunching and bringing that leg all the way up. Here we go. I promised a lot of abs this circuit, and we are getting it done. Nice. 10 down, 20 to go. Stay strong, you can do it. 
Great control. Perfect, Dan. Nice, Heather. Love that. And rest, everybody. Okay, set your weight down. We're going to go prone swimming with a breaststroke. So get your legs going and then circle the arms. So bend, extend. Let's go. Stabilize your hips. If that's too much for your brain, just do the legs. Otherwise, circle the arms. Stabilize your hips. Keep them pointing down. So really squeeze your glutes and abs. Good. Try for straight legs, use those straight legs. Yes, there we go. Use those hamstrings, use those glutes. Excellent. Five seconds, this is a tough one too. And rest everybody, one more in circuit two. We're gonna have our feet wide, we're gonna cross to the opposite elbow, same elbow and then change. Opposite elbow, same elbow with the same knee. So let's go right knee in, right knee to the same leg. Left knee in, left knee to the same leg. Okay, you do the same thing on the back, here, and change. Crossing, and same. So it's another little brain exercise. <laughs> Good. So right knee comes in twice to both arms, left knee comes in twice. There we go, Anna. Good. Rest, everybody. All right, that is round number one. So let's get set up our bags. If we're going to use the bags, take your weights. Jab, jack, jab, jack. Let's go. Out, in, punch. Out, in, punch. Get back to that cardio. Yes. Perfect. Keep those ribs pulled in, belly button towards the spine. You've got 12 seconds left. Keep jumping, keep punching. Eight seconds. Have some fun with that bag. We're almost there. Three, two, rest, everybody. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, first side here. On the hand and the knee, straight leg raises, or lay all the way down, support the neck. And up and down here for any shoulder or wrist injuries. Practice that control. The way down is still work, so go slow and controlled. Beautiful job. Yes, Louisa, good. Nice work, everyone. Great job, ladies. Five seconds only. This one gets real tough after a while. One more rest. It should be cramping by those last few reps. So let's change sides of the bell. You can lay down or prop yourself up on your hand and your foot. And let's go. Up and down. And this one should hurt more. It was already working but with the previous side. Deep breaths. You got this. Nice form, everybody. We need 10 more seconds of work right here. You got it. We got those ab punches coming up next. Five seconds. You got it. Almost there. Almost there. One more. Rest. Take your right hand dumbbell towards your left leg. Bring that leg all the way up or crunch, small crunch. Let's go. Exhale up, inhale down. Don't hold your breath. Love it. Good pacing. Up. Got it, Caroline. You got it. Good, Louisa. Great job, everyone. 15 seconds. Don't give up. You've got 10 seconds. We're going to even it out on the other side after that. Stay strong. You can do this. Think about those goals. Do not give up. One more. Rest for 10. Give those arms a little stretch if you need to. And then we're going to change arms and legs. In three, two, one. Let's go. You're almost your last round, everybody. Perfect. Yes. Abs are screaming. 20 seconds. There we go. Each rep should be increasingly difficult. <laughs> I know each one is. You've got five seconds. And rest, everybody. Let's head down onto the stomach. So if you're doing the full version, we're going to get our kickers going. And we have our breaststroke or 
just keep the upper body down if it's too much to handle. Swim. Remember, hips should be staying stable. Use your glutes. Try to keep the legs straight. Don't bend too much. Yes. 10 seconds. A lot of deceivingly difficult moves today. There we go. Keep swimming. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, everybody. If you're doing the plank version, right knee to opposite, right knee to right elbow, left knee to opposite, left knee to left elbow, or same thing on the back. Crunch, crunch, opposite, and same. Here we go. We have one round left after this. So I want you to think about what you want to get out of that last round. It's been a tough workout so far, a fun one. We've got 12 seconds, and we're going to finish as strong as we can with one more round. Five seconds. Keep it going, everybody. So close here. Rest. Okay, last set. Let's go back to our bags. We've got one jack, one jab. Quick pace, punching across the body. Let's go. Out and punch. Out and punch. Keep your abs engaged the whole circuit. Keep it going. 10 down, 20 to go. This is your last set of jacks for the day. Light is at the end of the tunnel. We've got just about three or four minutes of work left. Eight seconds, everybody. Keep going, keep punching. A few more jacks, three seconds. And rest, all right. Let's go back to our side kicks on the hand and the knee, or all the way down. Three, two, one, let's go. Up and down with control. Fight the urge to slam that leg down. Beautiful job, good. Nice work, everybody. There we go, Louise is pulsing. Those are hard, Caroline. Those are actually harder, I think, <laughs> on the elbow. <laughs> Eight seconds. You've got it. <laughs> Last one. Take a rest for 10, and then we're going to change to the other side, even it out one last time. And then those shredded jackknives. All right, let's go up and down, opposite leg. Control, lift and lower. Try exhaling up, especially if you're trying to catch your breath. You got it. Last set of these simple, effective kicks. 10 more seconds here, then we're back to the major ab work. Obliques are definitely still working with this one, so keep them engaged. Don't focus just on the hips. Rest, everybody. Okay, so last time with the jackknife. Take the dumbbell in your right hand, left leg comes up, start with it, bend, and then extend it towards your leg. Let's go, exhale, punch. Inhale, lower yourself down with control. 20 seconds left. It's always extra difficult when we do one side of jack for 30 seconds, then switch. One minute straight is not easy. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Last five, almost there. One more. And rest for 10. Change arms, just relax for the next five seconds. And then we'll put in those last 30 seconds of work. And go, opposite hand to foot. Try to do the full sit up, crunch if you need to modify at this point. Exhale up. 20 seconds left here. Last set of these, you can do it. We have two moves left, everybody, and that's gonna be the end of our workout. 10 seconds. You're almost there. Five seconds, let's get two jack knives, last one. And rest, everyone. One more with a swimming breaststroke. So get your legs fluttering, circle those arms around. Then extend overhead, keep them straight until they end up behind you. Squeeze your glutes as tightly as you can. Don't just keep the legs in the air. Keep swimming. Ten more, ten seconds down, 20 more to go. We've got our last plank coming up. Stay strong for 15. Think about those goals. 
Eight more seconds. You can do it. Do not drop now. You're stronger than that. Let's go. Three seconds. And breath. We've got one more to get through. Our high plank, opposite elbow, same elbow. Then we'll change legs. Same thing on the back for the crunch. Same elbow, opposite elbow, and change. This is your last one, everybody. 20 seconds. Good. Fight through that urge to stop. You can do this. Mind over matter. 10 seconds to go. Yes. Perfect. Three seconds. Rest, everybody. All right. At the next bell, let's finish with an elbow plank. If you can't do a plank, you can do a crunch pull. And three. Two, one, let's go. Legs together, squeeze your glutes and thighs. Elbows right below the shoulders. You can also do a high plank again. Crunch hold, hip brace hold. Just pull those abs all the way in nice and tight. Squeeze the hips down a little bit right there. 10 more seconds, then your Thursday workout is done. Hold it for five. Getting stronger every second. Three. Two, rest. Good job, everybody. All right. Let's go child's pose with the arms stretched out. Knees wide, toes together. Reach out your arms. A lot of punches today to stretch those shoulders and lats. Reach them as far as they will go. Walk them to the right side. And the left side. All right, now bring your legs together. Let's walk one arm forward, other one weave under, and you look towards your palm this up. And let's change, other arm forward. And other one weaves under. Thank you. Sorry, I'm gonna drop. All right, a lot of hip work today with all the kicking. So let's pull one leg out to the side, kick and pose, lay the other leg flat. If you can't do that one, let's come up onto one knee and press forward into that hip flexor. So try to just relax into that stretch down to the elbows. Trying to keep your hips centered. There we go. And let's change. Other side, kneeling or pigeon pose. Everybody, let's press up into down dog. So frame your ears with your shoulders pressing down, opening the chest, and try to gently let those heels drop towards the floor. They do not need to reach all the way down. Just feel that pull in the back of your calf. Press those shoulders open. And walk the hands back towards the feet. You're going to keep your feet together, palms on the floor. So bend the knees, even if it's generously, and then gently rock forward and back, just ever so slightly. Forward and back. And let's go feet nice and wide, and forward and back rocking, side to side, I mean, side to side rocking. Stretch out the low back, the hamstrings. And then let's go right hand to left foot, open up the left arm. And twisting, push your hips behind you. And change. Left hand to right foot, open up the right arm, push your hips back. And hands down the middle, peel yourself up one vertebrae at a time, a few shoulder rolls back once you're all the way up. <sighs> and hands behind. Let's do a few neck circles all the way around. 
and opposite. And deep breath in and exhale down. And done, everybody. Killer. Good boxing workout today. Good job at home. Thank you, Kat. Tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Thank